Hey, my name is Gabs, and today we're looking at alliteration. Now, this is lesson seven out of 12 tutorials. We're gonna look at the definition of alliteration, a few examples, and then I'm gonna break it down for you exam style, and we'll actually look at a quote with alliteration in it, and I'll go ahead and analyze so you see how to do it. Let's dive straight into the definition. Alliteration is when the first letter sound is repeated in the same line. Alliteration creates a specific mood. It's lyrical and fluid, evoking a specific type of emotion. So now we're going to look at a few examples and as we read, really get in tune with your emotions. What comes up? Top tip, try and think of three descriptive words that are evoked whilst you read the quote. So here we have number one, she brushed the nape of her neck. Now the alliteration would obviously be the words nape and neck. Number two, you're such a gym junkie. Now the alliteration here would be gym junkie. Some people get confused with alliteration and they think that um, the two alliterative words have to have the same letter. That's not always the case, as long as it's the same sound, as you can hear here, the gym junkie. The G is a soft G, it's not a hard G. It's a soft G, so gym junkie and creates the alliteration. Number three, they wore distressed dresses. The alliteration is distressed dresses, that repeated, that repeated D sound. And number four, the lizard loved her lucky lemons. It's the repeated L sound. Lizard loved lucky lemons. And number five, a truly private paradise of blue go and breadfruit. Now this quote has two versions of alliteration going on. We have private paradise, which is the repeated sound of the letter P. And then we have the repeated blue go and breadfruit, the repeated B. When I unpack alliteration and try to evoke or draw upon those feelings um, felt in the text, I find it really helpful to think of descriptive words that have the same first letter. So for example here, let's look at those quotes again. Um, number two, gym junkie. I would describe this as a there's a plucky jibe of jealousy. And notice I've picked up on that repeated J sound and used it in my emotive, descriptive words. Number four, the lizard loved her lucky lemons. It definitely feels loving and light-hearted to me. And notice how I used the repeated L sound and words with L for my descriptive words. And number five, I thought this was playful and dreamy. And I drew upon a word playful, um, which was taken from the words, the alliterative words, private paradise. So it kind of worked here. I did it half and half. Now I'm going to take one of these quotes and unpack it exam style. This is just my favorite. So the lizard loved her lucky lemons. The writer uses alliteration in the lines, the lizard loved her lucky lemons. This repeated L sound creates a loving and light-hearted environment, engaging the reader with an upbeat tone and good humour. Just let that sink in. Things I've done well. I pinpointed the literary device immediately. I call it out in the first sentence. Another thing, I quote straight away. And then I go a bit deeper, just focusing on the L sound, and I draw upon my emotional descriptive words, and they happen to also have the same first letter L. And can you see how powerful it is? Then I focus on other layers of emotion. Once you get the hang of identifying those emotional descriptive words, then you can go even further and spot other layers of feeling. Some final thoughts. There are 12 literary device lectures and alliteration is just number seven. So subscribe and you'll get the notification for the next video that I'll be uploading shortly. If you want to get your hands on this deck, head to Patreon. 
Tell me what you learn in the comments below. And if you want to hang out between videos, come say hi on Instagram. So that is everything for today. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.